Yeah, I believe that it's established. Yeah, I believe with maybe a younger guy, it is a little bit more challenging to say, yeah, I see, you know, this guy who's got X amount of starts ahead of me, so I'm just going to kind of bide my time. And those are one of the things that we have to combat on a daily, uh, on a daily basis. You know that that the the time is now. You, you know, you don't just kind of sit in the you know, sit in the back seat and then just wait for your turn. It's, it's, that's how we're going to continue to say, we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna get nervous on graduation. Or um, if one of these guys injuries are a part of the game, you know, man goes down, next man up. And that's how you gotta, that's the way that you have to prepare. And that's one of the things that you have to continue to impress upon these young guys. Yeah, what about the, the veteran guys, that, mm -hmm. anybody in particular that's, that's impressed you specifically. Yeah, there's there's been a there's been quite a few. Uh, uh, you know, Mitch is a guy who I just love how physical he is. I love the way that he competes. Um, he's developing into uh, a leader within the group. You know, you look at Adam and and Adam continues to improve some of the things that I've asked him to do uh, from time to time. Um, you can see his willingness to do it. Uh, how smart he is, and, and obviously you'd expect that with a uh, a young man who's gotten as many Big 12 starts as he's gotten, um, you know. And, and then you look at, you know, you look at Scott, and, and guys started 35 plus games uh, for this university, and um, even him continuing to challenge himself, him continuing to say, "No, it's it, it's my time to lead this group." Um, I've been very impressed, and and I love the way that Nick competes. I, I do. I'm I'm very impressed, especially with those four guys. Uh, who are returning, who've got playing experience, um, and uh, I'm very pleased with them. Um, with Adam, do you do you have you, you talked about trying to get him or some new things with him as mm -hmm. at the center position? Is that especially a key? I guess most offensive lines, but how does that? Well, from a mental standpoint, yeah. we put a ton on our center. Yeah. Um, you know, from communication of fronts to communication of IDs to understanding the protections, everything about it, he's handled that. I, I, I couldn't be more impressed with how well he's handled it. Mm -hmm. And uh, even adjustments now um, that we see as we're putting in goal line packages, it's it, he's picking up on it so quickly. Uh, you know, from just the technique things, you know, and continuing to challenge these guys to improve um, improve their game and prove their craft every single day. Those those are things. And and whether you're you know a, a three or four year starter or whether you just you know you're just coming out of high school, there's always going to be things that we need to improve upon. And it's battling the complacency and saying no, I can't elevate my game that much. And, and you're seeing a lot of that with those older guys. And and that's what's uh, um, that's what's very encouraging. And. Uh... What about any, are there any of the younger guys that you feel like are maybe feeling that urgency or that have yes. started willing to yes. take and, that Yes, and next the biggest thing out? I'm looking for from those guys is consistency. You know, it's, uh, Coach Kleiman talks about it very often. It's about putting good days back to back. You know, we can't have one step forward and then two steps back. It's about that consistency. It's about the urgency that you got to continue to move forward with. You, you know, there's a couple couple guys that, that kind of stick out in my mind right now. Um, I'll hold reservation on who they are until I start seeing those things coming back to back. You know, there's one day that, that you really appreciate, uh, you know, the way Christian Duffy moves along. And and, uh, um, and then there's another day you sit there and go, boy, you know, Noah Johnson's doing some really special things or, or Ben Adler's doing some really, really neat things out there. Um, you know, Harrison Creed has had some good days. I, I just I want to hold reservation on that because I want to see him continue to put those days back to back. And, uh, and, and that's the biggest challenge, especially as we get here in the home stretch. What about Revis? How is he? Josh is, is doing really well. He is. I think there's so much more ability that Josh has, and I, you know I'm not afraid to say that because those are the same conversations I've had with him. He's got a uh, a ton of potential, and he's a big physical kid who's athletic, and continuing to challenge him to be more and more physical. Um, he's a guy again who's got a lot of um, he's got re experience as as going into his sophomore year. And he's going to be a guy that we're going to continue to rely on. Rely on. So um, I've been pleased with him. Um, and uh, the biggest challenge, like like most guys his age, is we need to go a whole lot more out of him. 
Is there any thought to moving him to offensive tackle at all? Because you don't have a lot of obvious mm -hmm. tackle body types on the roster, and he would mm -hmm. seem to kind of be one that might fit into that role. Yeah, I, you know, right now I've just been very, very pleased with his development until we get to a point with him at guard. And with what we want to do as far as running the ball inside the tackles, you need to have that physical presence at guard. So um, that's not a conversation. That's not something that we've thought about up to this point. As we move forward, is that a possibility? They're all really possibilities. Who are some other guys you're rotating in at center mm -hmm. other than Adam? Well, we have uh, Evan's been taking a lot of reps at center. Um, and uh, obviously Noah Johnson's taken some at center. Shoot, you know, Tyler Mitchell's taken a few at center. And uh, um, that's one of the positions of concern, especially moving forward, because um, we have those guys, you know, I'd say our top two centers are both seniors right now. And uh, just had a conversation with Noah Johnson this morning. I really like how he's progressing. I really like how he's communicating out there. And, um, He's got a, he, he came to my office actually this morning and said, you know, what do I need to do? And that, that, that tells me that you got the right type of kid. And uh, I love his effort out there um, and uh, continuing to progress him along and continue to move him forward. Maybe with that first group for, for a few reps here and there is going to be a, a, a point of emphasis here over the next five, six days. Have you I've heard it. I don't know if you want to confirm or not. Is Jordan Robertson getting some reps on your offensive line now too? You know, he's been sitting in some meetings and just, just looking to add some depth and some athleticism there. We um, he's kinda of having to pull some double duty because of what we want to do from a practice standpoint. Uh, we still need him on defense line. But uh, yeah, all options and evaluations of our entire roster are still open. Is he someone that's kind of transitioned well in the limited time? Well, it, it's hard to tell because we haven't had the, the live reps. You know, he's come over, he's done some individual, um, he's sat in meetings, he's asked questions. So I like his attitude and, and certainly appreciate his effort from, the, from that standpoint. Has the team embraced, I guess, your kind of mentality for offensive line already? Did, was it a tough sell at all coming in with you? I, no, I, you know. I don't know if it was a tough sell or not. Uh, I think that might be a better question for them. I really, really appreciate uh, the, the way these guys have bought in. And I think it's, it's a complete reflection of the fact that you have um, as many seniors in that group as we have. And, uh, um, and then kind of a testament to what type of kids those guys are is, uh, is they've, they've kind of uh, they've welcomed a new voice um, you know, a few nuances to technique and to some fundamentals that, that just O-line coaches differ with. And uh, they've embraced it and uh, kind of gone full steam ahead. So I, I'm really, I'm, I'm very fortunate uh, that, uh, that, that we got that group of young men.